Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to customize drawer navigation in React Native with TypeScript. In last video, we have learned how we can make such kind of drawer navigation. But you see that this drawer navigation is a simple one. There is no customization is there. But suppose I want to make some customization and I want to add here some username and mail ID and image of a person or image of some, some image I want to display here or here in the footer of that I want to add means I want to add some header and footer here. So how we can add these in drawer navigation that we are going to learn. For that we have this application in which I explain you how you can create drawer screen or drawer navigation so here i am customizing this for that what we have to do i have to do here one more property that is called drawer content drawer content and this drawer content need one function that will make customization for that i create here this arrow function and in this arrow function, I pass a name of a function. Suppose I say drawer, drawer custom, or we can say custom drawer, like this way. And this function I will create here. This component means function. And here I need props as a parameter. And that props I'm going to pass here in this function, like this way. Remember that. This props and remember this props is drawer content component props. Remember that the parameter type is drawer content component props because it's a TypeScript. So we have to specify this TypeScript data type. So here I import drawer content component props. This I import here and I need to pass the type of this here. For that I just do like this I say drawer content props and I save this remember that we have to pass this property type now I need to create this function also custom drawer so I go down here and I create a function I say const I say custom drawer and here in this arrow function I try to do some coding for that what I do here I pass the props same props I pass here and the props name is then drawer content type the parameter type that I want to use it now inside this function inside this function what I want custom drawer spelling mistake so this is done now here what I want to do I want to make it customizable so for that I need here drawer content scroll view that I need first of all second I need here drawer item list here and I need close this and here I need to pass this property so I say dot 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 props same I need to pass here I say dot 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 props save this so after doing these changes remember that there is nothing is changed here everything is okay we need this item also so for that uh, I need to return this so I need to make this uh, like this way I save this so I need to remove this save this and uh, we have to remove this one also and you will see that now the item is coming you see everything is coming now I click on this everything is working nothing is changed you see I click on this screen 2 is coming and I click on this tab screen is coming everything is coming right now nothing is changed just we have add this function remember that add this function drawer custom drawer here as a component we pass here and in this property drawer content we pass the function that is used to make a modification in header and footer which kind of modification you see that here if I write something here suppose I say dr. weapon classes remember that 
if I write this but it will I save this and and I need to use it under the text component that is a problem so I say text component here under the text component I just cut and paste it inside this save this and I need to import I think this text yeah this I need to import so I need to import in react native so I say here import text import text from react native like this save this error is gone now you see that whenever I click on this I have a doctor weapon class at the top remember this so whatever I will write now in this function at the top before this item and if I write something after this item I copy this and after this item I paste here and I save this you will see that will come after this you see it's coming here we are able to display the text after the items and before the items so now I do modi some modification and I want to display this text just after this you see at the bottom so it will generate error because we do not have a root component right now so for that i create here a one view component in react native so this view component i put just after this here save this and i import this one also so i save view here save this now you see whenever I click on this I have this on the top and we have a view also so for this view I need to do some styling for this to display all the list so I say style equal to I say flex equal to 1 save you see so when I do flex here 1 then it it occupies all the screen and this text which I display after the draw, drawer content is called a screen it comes at the bottom of the screen so I can say here that it is copyright like this save this and you will see that copyright item is coming here I can design a style for this also I say style and I say uh, for a styling uh, I say that is uh, uh, from the bottom we can take some sizing so I say padding is 10 pixel then I say margin from the bottom is also 5 pixel so I save this you see it looking better and uh, I can set color also if you want I say color equal to red save this and you see color is also coming and I can say font font size or font size we can increase or font weight we can say font weight is bold save this and you see that copyright is coming at the bottom of the drawer screen and it looking better so we can design like this now we customize the upper part here this text part I want to display the name and the text also so I say view here inside this view I want to uh, display uh, this text and inside this I want to take one more view and then I want to display this under this I want to display one more text that I say it is my mail ID so I say doctor weapon classes at the rate gmail.com I save this and you will see that mail ID is also coming and after that here I want to display some image so I say image and uh, for image also I say image then I say source of image and source of image is I div here I say my image for example and uh, I say style here in style I say width of this is 60 and height 
is also 60 and I say uh, border radius is 30. So like this way I use this image and I close this image also like this I save this. Now I need image also this my image for that I import this image at the top. So I say import my image uh, from here I say that is dot 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 under the assets folder I have the images so I say my image this one so I save this you see this image is coming so this is my image now the problem is image doesn't does not exist so I import this also save this so this image I am going to use here and you will see that if I click here we will have image here and uh, I can make some formatting. So here I say style equal to flex direction to row flex direction to row and I save this and you will see that it coming just after this. Now I give uh, some margin. So I say margin is 10, save this, you see, and uh, I give some margin or padding here also. So I say style equal to, and I say here that padding to 10 pixel, save this, you see coming okay right now and we can design some font also so I say font size this is not a text so I have to design font for text here style equal to I say font size equal to 20 save this you see and uh, I say font weight equal to bold save this yeah this one mail id we have and you see that i am doing customization for my drawer navigation and i am adding some header also i am adding this header information and footer information here so i can customize whatever i want so i have given here name then email id and then i given here the image or whatever you want you can design yourself like this as I given you an example here in this video and I just set here copyright also at the bottom so you can set the information at the bottom also like this way but you have to just outside of the drawer content scroll view you have to put this text here it will, it will come in the bottom and for that we have to use flex property to one it will take all the screen of this and you see that now we are able to customize the header and footer of drawer. So here in this video, I try to make you understand how you can modify or customize your header and footer in drawer navigation. If you like it, please do subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.